Prices remained high in October for Bristol London Road, and that likely had a lot to do with the fact that there was zero semi-detached home sales in the whole month. I'm Darcy Toombs, real estate broker and team leader with Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker, and this is your sold report for Bristol London Road for November 2023. All right, as for sales for the month, there was actually only six sales in the whole community for the month of October. And that would actually be for all housing types, but there was only six freehold detached homes that were sold for the whole month. There was zero condo townhomes, zero condos, and zero semi-detached home sales for the whole month. Which really is pretty wild when you think about it because at the start of November, there was four active condo apartment listings and 15 active semi-detached homes that were listed on the market. So the fact that there was zero sales last month is a pretty wild stat. Now when it comes to prices, of the six sales, there was actually only one that sold at or above the asking price, which was for a detached bungalow on Silver Birch, which sold for $768,000, which was actually also the lowest sale price for the whole community for the month. The average sale price, which is really hard to put much weight behind with only six sales, was at $1,120,000-ish for that whole community. Well, the highest sale price for the whole community was a great four-bedroom detached home on McIntyre Court, which sold for $1,380,000. Now this sold in nine days for 97% of asking, but that home was actually listed in May of this year for $1,750,000, which there was no takers for the home at that time. They dropped the price by nearly $200,000 to $1,555,000, where they sat for around two months before they actually ended up taking it off the market at the end of July. Now determined to get this property sold, they actually did relist the property on September 20th for $1,488,000. And then they dropped it again another $60,000 just 10 days later. And then it finally sold on October 2nd for $1,380,000. So really the moral of this story should be make sure you price your homes right when you're coming onto the market so it doesn't take you all summer. Now when it comes to interesting points for the month of October, it was really quite intriguing to see that there was only six sales and they all happened to be freehold detached homes. Now there was a fair bit of the offer date um, pricing strategies that were going on through the month that actually ended up with failed offer uh, nights, but I think we're really going to be on the tail end of seeing that strategy play out moving forward. It's just not working out as well as it did before now that there's a lot more inventory on the market for buyers to choose from. So as far as what I'm expecting to happen in the month of November, I am expecting to see a lot more sales of semi-detached homes and condo apartments. Now at the time of this filming, there's actually three semi-detached homes that are currently showing as conditionally sold and two of those are actually vacant. So I'm going to assume that there's going to be some motivation from the sellers to make sure those deals happen. Also, at the time of filming, 14 of the 32 homes that are listed for sale in the community are listed as being vacant. That's over 43% of the listings in this community alone are vacant. Now that works out to be a lot of people that are likely very serious about selling. Now as for new market as a whole, it was the slowest month for sales since October of 1999, when there was actually also only 57 sales that month. And this is also for all housing types, not just freehold detached homes, all housing types, including condos. Active inventory was the highest it's been in over four years at 243 active listings at the end of October and is still continuing to grow to this day. So this actually works out to a month of inventory of 4.26, which is the highest it's been since January of 2019. While the average sale price in town was actually up by $50,000 over September, it was largely due to six big sales that happened in town, over $1.5 million, and really a low number of condo sales for the whole month. 49% of all sales actually happened between $1 million and $1.5 million. So a big bulk of them were right in that segment. And we actually did have a home sale in Copper Hills for a brand new record for a single family home selling for nearly $4 million, which is the highest price ever for a home in Newmarket that's a single family that's not being sold to a developer. This was an absolute stunner on a massive lot, had an amazing backyard with pool and a separate guest house. This was a really special home, not really surprising to see the price, especially when you look at 
what comparable homes like this one would sell for in Aurora or Richmond Hill. It's right in line with that, but again, it's still a record sale and it's something that we're quite excited to see happen. Now as for the whole region, inventory was up across the region and all municipalities, except for actually Markham, Markham had a slight decrease in the number of active listings at the end of the month. And actually, Wichert Stouffville also maintained 188 active listings, the same number of active listings that they had at the end of September. With inventory up across the region, coupled with the sluggish sales that we're seeing, the months of inventory is up across the board. Except for actually Markham and Wichert Stouffville, which have seen a slight decrease in the months of inventory, but still are maintaining high levels of inventory. East Gwillenberry and Georgina, your months of inventory are the highest it's been in a long time, sitting at over 6.5, which is a big number, meaning things are gonna be slow for a while. So I hope you enjoy this video. Now we don't make these to scare people into not doing anything in real estate, but we do wanna make sure we are informing our community of what's actually happening out there so you can make informed decisions. We also wanna demonstrate that we have a solid understanding of what's going on in the real estate market to help guide our clients through the challenges of a changing real estate market. And as mentioned, we actually did have a record sale in the month of October. So the real estate market is fluid and ever changing and everyone's situation is going to be quite unique. We do not think the sky is falling or the real estate market is imploding, but we do need to acknowledge the fact that the market is a lot different than it was a year ago. If you know of anybody that might really enjoy this video or benefit from it, please share it with them. And if you have any questions or concerns about any of the information that we've provided in this report, please reach out. We'd love to start a conversation with you about your unique situation. And if you're a homeowner and you wanna get an idea on what your home's worth in today's market, we can provide you with a complimentary and honest home evaluation to give you a realistic idea of what your home would be worth in today's market. So you can get a better idea on how to strategize your next move. Go to tombs.team value for more information. We'll see you next month. Thank you.